first, open natin ang PyCharm community. So this is a free programming software or environment na kung saan dito tayo nagkukod ng ating program. Close nyo lang ang helpful tips. After which, punta tayo sa folder. Right click then create a Python file. And name natin ang calculator app. Then we start by adding first the tkinter module. This module is helpful when you want to draft an app. Even though Python is simple, it is very powerful naman when it comes in making software projects. Iset natin yung window sa 650 by 400 pixels para malaki. Ilalagay natin yung mga kakailanganin like the app's name which is the calculator. Make sure na all the widgets or elements ay may grid function to become visible sa window. Next, lalagyan natin ng entry box para ma-input ni user ang numbers. Lagyan din natin ng another entry box for the second unit. Then, i-place na natin yung mga buttons. So first, gawa tayo ng template. We name it as addition and write the specific command for the event handling na i-explain ko later. Copy-paste lang natin. Change the button's name to subtract and also the command. Same as with multiplication. Don't forget na i-change din yung grid position para hindi mag-error when we run it. Lastly, sa division, ganun din. Simple lang, di ba? Here comes the event handling. Event handling makes the magic sa ating code. For example, kapag nilagay na ni user ang dalawang numbers, when we click the add button, i-give niya ang sum ng dalawang numbers. Just like the previous activity, gawa tayo ng template para i-modify na lang sa remaining part. Copy-paste lang then make sure na maayos at tama ang pagkakalagay nyo ng operation. So kapag subtraction, ilalagay nyo ang minus symbol. Sa multiplication, ganun din. Use asterisk instead of enclosing it inside parenthesis or using the x symbol. Si Python kasi is very strict sa syntax, so take note niyan. Sa division naman, may tinatawag tayong float or referred as decimal sa standard mathematics. Sa Python, when dividing numbers, ang ibibigay niya lang isang float ang dalawang inputs. Lastly, ilalagay natin ang command for our Windows tool. Right click, then select run. Try natin input ng dalawang numbers. So, gumana siya. Reminder lang, there are many ways to kill a cat. So, this is my way to draft an app. So, thank you and subscribe.